Welcome to Audio Tree Live. It is October 12th, 2016, and live in the studio today, we have Field Mouse. Watching Audio Tree Live with Field Mouse. Hi guys, welcome. Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> well, that's one way to jump right into this. You guys, how are you feeling today? Good. I was feeling good. Good. What did your strap fall off? The headphones fell off and slammed into my guitar. <laughs> Made some pretty bad notes. I think it's just the epicness of rock and roll in, uh, in physical form. I think it's the the shape of my head <laughs> and uh, a Sorry. lot of bad luck. <laughs> we didn't get special request for the headphones, so next time we'll definitely put that in there. I swear to God. <laughs> well, you guys, welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, we're going to start off this question nice and light over here. So uh, being artists and musicians, we've all know that dreaded side job. My question was, what was the worst job you've ever had and why? This, this, cleaner. This cleaner. Like house cleaner. House cleaner. I, I, I don't want to ask why, but I'm going to ask why. Anything in lot. particular? Just a lot. Yeah, and uh, you can just leave for tour if you want. Oh, that well, that is nice. Yeah, it makes time for that. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's <laughs> Still not working. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Zoe? Uh, babysitting. Ooh, children. You just get sneezed on a lot. <laughs> that one's not too bad. What about you, Andrew? I worked at um, a bookstore. I probably shouldn't say the name, so I'll just say it's Barnes and Noble. <laughs> um, <laughs> Corporation bookstore. Okay. Yeah. Why was it so bad? You just didn't. Was it just long hours, or was it? I was in the the science section, so anyone who came there pretty much knew how to look for a book. <laughs> so I just I sat there with my arm. You can't sit down, so I sat there with my arms, just like on the computer, staring down the hallway into the kids section. So um, you were assigned sections. Yeah, in the yeah, store. yeah. That's I didn't know that. Oh, girl. There's a lot underground There's Barnes and Noble. There's a lot of stuff that goes on there. So what was what if you had to choose a section though? Which one would you have wanted to be in? Oh, I guess I guess I got the best section. You did. If I'm being honest. Yeah. Yeah. But I, so you can't sit down though. I guess that makes no, sense. No, no. I mean, I would I would um, take my tag off and like f hide places. <laughs> sit behind and read a book, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> that's 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 a good one. I haven't heard that one yet. Oh. Moving on. 
Hello. Hi. Um, I worked uh, midnights at a Tim Hortons drive through in Ooh. Port Huron, Michigan. Now, what is that? What's a Tim Hortons drive through Tim Hortons is like, you have them in Chicago, right? They're like donut shops. We probably do. It's like a Bob Evans sort of. Uh, no, well, it's, it's a Dunkin' Donuts, but Canadian. Oh, oh okay. They're so, based in Canada. They're, I think they're like. Oh, right. They are. They're super Canadian. So I would have to do like uh, late night drive through uh, cashier and I'd have to finish donuts. Um, that was in college and I got no sleep. So. Ooh, yeah, especially late nights. Yeah. That's crazy. So, okay. And last? Uh, I think it's probably dog walking <gasps> and, I, and I still do it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go, like doing it? I'm going to go right back to it after this tour. It's a mixed right bag. I mean, mm. I, I like it sometimes if it's a nice day. Yeah. Uh, but if it's not a nice day, and and I would say more than half of the dogs are, are like, they have problems. <laughs> Some of them are actually, they have like anxiety medicine, like oh around Prozac gosh. and stuff. Real, oh New, real New York dogs. It's New York City. Real New, New York City. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I guess it's they're a little not bit made different. For, they're not made for that place. It could be the dream job too, though, just being with dogs yeah. all day. Yeah. But. M- most people that do the job do really like it, but. For that reason. But it wears on you a little bit. Oh, I could see that. I could yeah. see that. Well, these are definitely interesting. Well, you guys, whenever yeah. you're ready, you can go into your next song. Thanks just, for being just here. A, just as a follow-up to that, uh, dog, yeah. Dog, sure. yeah. dog Xanax is the same as human Xanax if you are out there and you have a pill, pop, pill problem. That I did not know true. that. That it can't is, be true. true. Really? 100% true. They don't have the same GABA receptors. Stop lying. Well, my brother <laughs> takes our dogs. You were in the science want, section. I don't, I don't know. I think she's winning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go for it, you guys. Audio Tree Live with Field Mouse. So you guys, I am a pro stalker when it comes to my job, and I was stalking your Instagram, and I have one question, because I generally do not know what it is. Uh, Magic the Gathering. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody wanted to take, so take it away, um, explain maybe a little bit to me what it is and how you can take it with you on tour. Um, well, it's, it's, it's primarily a card game, but more than that, it's like a cult. Oh, okay. Like if you're familiar with Scientology. Okay. It's a lot like that. Oh, my God. 
Um, <laughs> Zoe's like, Mm-mm. basically, you know, our bodies have all these things. Oh my God, Andrew, are, no. Oh, well, then someone else explain it. <laughs> so it's, a, it's like, it, it, there's cards, obviously, kind of like, I don't want to say trading cards, but you can like take these cards on tour with you and other people, if they have them, you can play with them. You right? can take any kind of card on tour. It's very small. That is true. Yeah. It is very packable. I enjoy it. It's pocket sized usually, which is nice. But so you, it's something that is a, oh, I hate it. Yeah, I, I'll take it. You got it? You want to go for it? Let Timmy do it. Let him Let do him it. Timmy's I did got it. it. He, I, he went for it. I caused it. I caused the problem, right? Was it me? Well, Andrew yeah, you were the instigator. There was a corgi in the picture, so if that helps anybody. That was my friend uh, Aaron's dog, <sighs> Faye. She works for the company that makes those cards. Oh, that's so cool. So she just hooked us up with tons um, that's awesome. To play with each other. And it was Andrew's idea a couple tours ago to just bring a deck. And we have so much time to kill. Yeah. It. And and so we just started playing each other. And then Sasha got a deck. Zoe got a deck. Rachel refuses to do anything <laughs> that's I don't that's like to inclusive. play a lot. That's fun. That's inclusive. Yeah. Uh, Nope. So and then and then we found other bands that we went on tour with. we were also playing and and when we play at venues, most of the time somebody comes up and is like, "I'm sorry, I'm a huge nerd. I just I, I love watching this. Can I go get my deck? I live four blocks away." We're like, yeah. And we say no. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, don't talk to us. That's a really cool thing, though. Like, I guess kind of like community-wise, though, and maybe yeah, not as far as a cult, but oh. maybe in the way that you can go on tour and interact with your fans in a different kind of way. I don't know. Happen, yeah. With with me- like, so is it kind of like I don't want to compare it to it in case it's offensive, but is it kind of like Pokemon? It, well, Pokemon has a card game. Right. Is it the same kind of like idea though with that? No, where you it's can... like it's like bat- it's just battling cards, okay. you know. And then what about this when I attempted and talked to people about it? The Black Lotus card I was told oh, to mention. Oh, it's highly desirable. Um, it was like twenty seven thousand dollars last time I checked. Yeah. To buy this card. Yeah. So, have you ever thought of like selling some of your old cards? Or, no, like, well, we don't have anything. You don't like have that. any older ones? No, no. Okay. I mean, I'd, I'd sell that in a heartbeat. I'd, yeah. It's I'd, like I'd do literally anything for $27,000. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me yet. No, no surprises well, it yet. It costs zero mana. And, it ha- and it's it an artifact. You it's and you like, tap it and it gives you three mana on turn one. So, you can have four mana on turn one. It's pretty OP. But if it's like an old card, can you even play with it? Uh, yeah, oh. I'm not competitive for Lee, probably, unless they have those specifications. But. Interesting. Yeah. So a lot for me to learn. Thank you so much for Any explaining time. these. Uh, Rachel I'm hates this. Really no, was no, interested because I, I had no I idea. <laughs> We're on the same page. We're okay. We got it. I sleep a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> so whenever you guys are ready, let's go ahead and rock into your next song. Let's rock into it. <laughs>
watching Audio Tree live with Field Mouse. So, Rachel, this one does not have to deal with magic, so I'm going to bring it over to you. So, cool. I recently jumped onto your blog, by the way. I have a blog? You do have a blog. Wow. Just, uh, Let's talk that. about it. Yeah, we're going to go jump right into it. So, I did read this article you wrote for Talk House. Oh, yeah. Um, and first of all, absolutely love your writing style. Super awesome. Thank y'all. I was like, mm, I like this chick. I was really into it. Thanks so much. But I was just wanting to know, how was the process of writing down such personal information and almost describing indescribable experiences? Uh, I just did it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I don't know. No, it, yeah. yeah. I, I, started, I wrote it like no one was going to read it. Okay. Of, and then sent it to the editor and she was like, make all these changes. And I did. <laughs> and then they put it up. Have That's you have you gotten any reactions from it or anybody reaching out yeah, to you from it? Yeah, there are uh, apparently a lot of people who have sort of similar or the same thing going on in the world, which I, I guess I was sort of aware of. Yeah. Well, definitely, like, the topic, I think, having that in the subject of your article and then having it actually kind of occur after the article, too, kind of yeah. just, you know, kind of solidifies what you were getting at. For which sure. Which I thought was really interesting for the more idea of being relatable. Yeah. Necessarily. It's cool. I like, I like when people reach out about it. Oh, you, so it's something that you do enjoy, like, having, like, a fan or somebody maybe yeah. reach out to you totally. and you'll be able to respond with that. Yeah, man. <laughs> so when it comes to your music, you don't mind being so open when it comes to lyrics or ideas like that with your fans? Or do you like to be more transparent with the Um, idea? I don't mind being open for the most part. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, uh, some things are meant to be vague, but for the most part, it's cool. It's all there. It's all there. And then with your writing, has, have you been writing for a while? Is it something that comes just naturally to you or do you enjoy writing on your own? Uh, like essay form like that or... Uh, Maybe not necessarily essay, essay, mm-hmm. essay form, but I mean any other style or form that yeah, you've I, worked in. Totally. I've been writing for for very, uh, forever, I guess. I don't know. I got in, I uh, got into college for creative writing and then didn't do it. I went, I did songwriting instead. Okay. So, but you definitely went to pursue something that was yeah, in the writing field. That's really interesting. Sure. I didn't know that. That probably definitely helps with that with all your lyrics and things like that. Yeah, it helps with, like, if you wanted to maybe be a barista or a green cleaner. Also, I recommend Uh. going to music school. I'm looking right into this camera. (laughs) Go to music school. On that note, go ahead and do your next song, because I think that's a perfect way to end Yeah, it's really, this is a bummer, too. This song's a real bummer. Go get your bachelor's in music.
watching Audio Tree Live with Field Mouse. So before we go into our last song, I know that you guys are currently on your way to Detroit to play tonight. You played last night at Empty Bottle, um, so feel free to check them out on tour. I was just curious about, from city to city, have you found a certain city that had an unexpected fan base or reaction, like a city that you really enjoyed that you didn't know may have been a pretty good turnout? Denver was awesome. Denver. Denver was really cool. Phoenix was, we had a cool crowd and that was unexpected. Where in Phoenix did you play? Do you know? Anyone? Does anyone remember? <laughs> it was Why room. are you saying Phoenix? Is this, is this a bit? No, but the, the people in Phoenix are really nice. I recall that one as a bad show. I, I don't know. I sold merch and oh, well, people well, talked to me and they were really, really cool. Yeah, but they were probably trying to like, get something. Okay. Um, yeah. Denver. <laughs> Back to Denver. So, so Denver. So maybe more like in the southwest or south. Yeah, yeah west side. Or, you know, they're the, all, they're the all mountains. Um, Pretty smaller venues for those out there. Tallahassee. We played. Um, we had never played Tallahassee. We played hmm. like Florida State has a cool venue, and there were college students, and they were very excited about music. It was cool. That's pretty cool. I feel yeah. like that energy with that would be like just really fun to just play around with that. I'm originally from Phoenix, so I was just wondering if you knew cool. the venue. I couldn't necessarily tell you which ones are down in Phoenix. Oh, but Re Rebel Lounge? Rebel Lounge. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a hit or miss, I feel like, with shows there, um, but I love the venue there. The, I've been yeah, to that The one. food next door is amazing. Ooh, the staff nice? was very friendly, too. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Very nice staff. We talked about that earlier. Great staff, nice venue, perfect combo. Absolutely. <laughs> Always. Well, I hope you guys have safe travels today and that Detroit Thanks. is a kick-ass crowd tonight because you guys are definitely kick-ass. See you soon, Ferndale. Ferndale. Love it. You guys, whenever you're ready, go into your last song for us. Can't find the address.
been watching Audio Tree Live with Field Mouse. You can support this band when the session comes out in a few weeks. Just wanted to say thank you to all the videographers in the room, everybody in the studio, our sound engineers, the band, and of course, you, the viewers. We'll see you next time. Have a kick-ass day. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Check. Mark. Done.